talking about some combs from a company called Hercules, as well as um, explaining the difference between some of the other combs that may not be as great for your hair. So, first thing is, when I first started on my hair journey in 2009, the most popular comb, undoubtedly, was the Gibberie Shower Comb, which looks like this. Um, sometimes they're by Gibberie, sometimes they're not. Um, they have the hook on them. I'm not quite sure why this was the most popular comb. I think maybe convenience and you know how um, sometimes things in the quote-unquote online hair world goes. Uh, something becomes popular, one person with great hair recommends it or tries it and suddenly, you know, it's a, a sensation or whatever. Um, sometimes for good and sometimes not so good. Uh, for example, the Tangle Teaser. A lot of people jumped on that bandwagon and then three to six months later like clockwork, so many ladies came back and said that it broke their hair off. So, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So, um, as you can see, I have two. And uh, these combs are okay, but what I noticed is that I would get a lot of breakage. Like, see how on the tips of these two combs, they have like this little rubber part. I felt like that was, um, I don't know, causing breakage or something. And for a while, I used to just take some breakage as normal. When you comb your hair, it's manipulation. You're going to get some breakage, and I would take a lot of that as normal, to be honest. Um, and then I saw a review for the Hercules combs, and I bought three of those. So let me go ahead and talk to you about the ones that I have. Um, first of all, the company, I'm calling it Hercules. Uh, I'll put it across the scene, uh, Hercules Sageman, I think is how you say it. And basically, um, their company sells like hand sawed 100% rubberized, seamless combs. They sell all different styles. Um, they sell picks and, you know, they sell the denim brushes, you know, all kinds of different hair products. But I'm talking specifically about their combs. And I bought three. The first one that I have is the Magic the jumbo rake one and it looks like this and you can see that the ends are beveled and it says magic star on it and the number is 5660 okay uh, the second comb that I have it's their uh, styling comb and it's number 1975 and it looks like this it has a long handle and then the third comb that I have is number uh, 6450 and it's a small tooth comb that looks like this and it does have um, it's not quite a rat tail but a point tail comb okay um, the reason why I bought three combs is because uh, the website recommended the three comb detangling smoothing method for you know, like tangle free smooth hair so they recommend that you start with the jumbo comb so I had this one, moved down to a large or a medium, whichever, and so I went with this one, and then go down to a small or fine tooth comb, and so then I bought this one. Um, to just talk about some of the features of the combs, I have the packaging that they come in. So this is the one that the 1975 comb came in, and you can see. Um, they're 100% hard rubber, um, they're gentle to hair, they're handmade and hand sawed, they're guaranteed to be seamless, they're burr free, which I think that just means like uh, catching or like, uh, you know how sometimes you have rubber and it kind of like buckles a little bit, I think that's what the word burr means, I'll double check and put a different definition across the screen if I need to. Um, and then also the type of rubber that it's made out of is very hygienic. Um, so these combs obviously are something that are made to last. They are expensive, in my opinion, for combs. Uh, and I'll make sure that I put the prices down in the description box. But um, I saw a review from a uh, blogger, actually. Um, and this comb is not new. I mean, I feel like it's more known in the natural world because detangling is, is a stronger issue for natural hair. Um, but... I don't know, for whatever reason, it was the first time I heard about it a few months ago. Uh, so I ordered it before Christmas, so it gives you an idea how long I've been using these three combs. So first of all, let me just say that this comb makes the shower combs look like you're almost 
um, doing damage to your hair. Okay, once I started combing with these combs and using the three comb method, it's not unusual for me to roller set my hair and, and get, you know, only 20 shed hairs or something like that. I very rarely see broken hairs in my combs anymore. Um, and it just really feels superior. The beveled edges of this comb um, really work well and so much more gentle on the hair and better than the way that the balls on the end of the shower comb are. Um, I also know that I have some wide tooth combs that do have seams on them and I never really even noticed it. You know, I mean, I was in the mindset of a wide tooth comb is a wide tooth comb. You really do need to make sure that your combs are seamless. It makes a huge difference. I'm not necessarily saying that, okay, you need to go to hotcombs.net and buy these three combs because I'm talking about how great they are. That's not, I don't know if that's necessary. I mean, you can go to Sally's or anywhere and just make sure that the combs say specifically seamless. Um, I think if they say the word seamless on there, okay, of course they're guaranteed to be seamless, but then they might be a little bit higher quality and the fact that these teeth don't bend or give in my hair, um, it just seems to glide through. This comb in particular is way better than even finger combing your hair. I mean, it can lift and smooth and style and swoop and do everything and remove. I use this um, when I'm pre-pooing, right before I pre-poo, to remove the shed hair from the week, put this in. Um, it, just, it just glides through and doesn't cause any damage, doesn't cause any breakage. It's very rare that I see a broken hair in that comb. This comb is a little bit more versatile. Um, of course, it's great for wrapping your hair, for smoothing it, also for detangling, because if you can see, the teeth are kind of wide in this comb too. Um, they're a little long or it's a little thick. I don't know what, however your dimensions work, I'm not good with that kind of thing. Thick, deep, you know, whatever, wide, however you, you think of it as far as the, um, size of the teeth this way <laughs> being a little wider they're not completely skinny um, and I think that adds to how well this is able to style the hair and how much control over the direction and what you're trying to do with your hair this this definitely is a comb more for control and I would have to say this is the most versatile of the three because it is a wide you know the teeth are wide and you can detangle and smooth without worrying about damage but you can also style and you know get really sleek looks with this as well um i purchased this comb now i will say that this comb one let me just say this i never use fine teeth combs fine tooth combs on my hair even when i'm roller setting i'll use a small tooth comb which is what i believe this one to be but the fine teeth the uh, you know the, those kind of combs that have like the um, the metal point on the end. The teeth on that are way too fine for my hair. So I use this primarily when I am roller setting. That last smoothing before I roll my hair, I usually use this one. Um, and it works wonderfully. I love it. But I will say that if you go to any beauty supply store or Sally's or whatever and you buy you know a nicer comb again I like I said pay attention to it being seamless this is probably the one that I would say save your money on the other two are definitely worth it in my opinion but this one um I have a few combs that are similar that I don't really notice a difference when I'm not using the Hercules comb but um let me see here's the Hercules one here and here's one that I got from the beauty supply store or Sally's or something. So you can see they're quite similar. Um, and so I would say if anything, you can save your money on this one. But I'm glad that I bought the three combs and the system. Um, again, the looking back at these, I mean, these just will be used for wigs and weaves and stuff like that. I mean, it's no sense in throwing away perfectly good combs, but... I'm never going to use these on my hair anymore as long as I have these combs. I travel with them. I'm thinking about buying a second set just so I can have um, in case I misplace one of my quote unquote good combs because it's it makes that much of a difference. It really does. And 
if you're a person like me where you take some breakage in your comb and some broken hairs every single time you comb your hair you take that it's somewhat normal don't see if it's your comb you know even if you don't purchase the hercules combs or the whatever hercules sageman you know just upgrade to a nicer comb see if it makes a difference because i can tell you that this makes a difference uh even in my ends um i recently had a cut but that's because i had a scissor happy hair stylist but um once i had the thin end episode from a few months ago back in i think november or september somewhere around there um and then i ordered these combs in december i noticed a difference in how keeping up my ends how much easier it was and better it was and how um just more finished and smooth that my hair looks in switching to these combs so just to say it you know all combs are not created equally uh, you may not want to spend fifteen dollars, twenty dollars on a comb, and I don't blame you. Let me let me be honest with you. I do not blame you at all. But I will say that my experience is that these Hercules combs are definitely worth the money, and I would recommend them. And if something were to happen to my combs, if I were to accidentally step on it or break one or lose it or something, I would be repurchasing for sure because I think the combs are that great. So, uh, if you have any questions. Just let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will talk to you soon. Stay blessed. Bye.